Uh, this event today is special since this is the 10th year of the award. But it is even more special because this year, 2020, has shown us the importance of the very subject of the award, inclusive innovation. The coronavirus pandemic has caused an unprecedented devastation in terms of loss of lives, in terms of loss of livelihoods. Within just about 100 days, 100 million families plummeted from poverty to extreme poverty. The inequalities went up exponentially. The only way to recover is by accelerated inclusive growth driven by inclusive innovation that can achieve the magic of access equality despite the income inequalities which have risen. I talked about the pandemic, but my mother Anjani Mashalkar was a victim of another pandemic, the perennial pandemic of poverty. When she gave birth to me 77 years ago in a village, she brought me up facing all the odds that an extremely poor, widowed, uneducated mother moving to Mumbai with her only child, a six-year-old boy would face. And this she did with courage and with dignity. When she passed away, we found all the money I used to give her whenever I used to meet her coming from Delhi to Pune or whatever over the years. And she had tucked away all that money in her cupboard with a note in her own handwriting. We simply said, use this money to do some science, do some good for the poor. To honor her wishes, I instituted this award 10 years ago and for rewarding breakthrough solutions for excluded members uh, of our society. Our winners, of course, have gone on to win even more awards. But merely winning more awards is not what makes them special. It is the difference that they have made to the lives of the people, each one of them, that you see here. Whether it is IBRIS exam of uh, Mir Shah with a handheld non-invasive device that offers painless breast exams for what? For just $1 per scan. Or whether it is Rahul Rastogi's Sanket Life, which I have in hand. This is a handheld portable ECG, by the way, that brings affordable cardiac care at just five rupees per scan to everyone. And all other awardees have done something similar. And of course, many have made a difference beyond the borders of India. For example, Axio Start for, well, by uh, Leo Mavli that stopped bleeding instantly is now in 40 countries. Just as Sham Vasudeva's Trinetra, a non-invasive, low-cost, pre-screening device for five major eye diseases has reached 25 countries. So we are making a big difference. Some of them will even lead to radical social transformation. Just take one example. Last year's winner, uh, Gen Robotics, which created Bandicoot, which is a robot that cleans manholes. It can replace the man in the hole, which is a shame itself, by the way, a man in the hole with the machine in the hole. And further, they give dignity to that manual scavenger by training them as robot operators, not their remaining as manual scavengers, as robot operators. And I'm delighted that our government is bringing out a new bill now, the prohibition of employment as manual scavengers and their rehabilitation amendment bill 2020, which proposes complete mechanization of sewer cleaning. And for doing that mechanization, which the policy will bring out, we are fully ready full-scale use of bandicoot and other similar mechanizations will be transformational in removing the shameful curse of manual scavenging, which would have lived for, for centuries. Finally, I would like to thank uh, International Longevity Center of uh, India, which was the birthplace of this uh, uh, award, who helped in launching this award, and also Pune International Center, which gave the award a national platform by making it a part of National Social Innovation Conference on 17 November every year. And finally, the jury. Each one of them a leader in their own field. 
I would like to thank each one of them individually. Professor Anil Gupta, uh, the father of grassroots innovation in India, is the chairman of the jury. Arun Nigwekar, the former vice uh, uh, chancellor of a chairman of uh, University Grants Commission, Bhushan Patwardhan, uh, the iconic uh, and most revered Ilaben Bhatt, uh, Jain Dumranikar, Professor R. Kumar, Samir Mitra Gotri, uh, Samir Brahmachari, uh, Shiladit Sen Gupta, Vinod Goel, Vijay Bhatkar, and Sushil Bode. You all have helped me in making my mother's wish a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mashelkar. Uh, your inspiration has fueled this inclusive innovation movement over the last 10 years, and we look forward to more in the future. Friends, we will now announce the much awaited awards. In the non COVID category, the winner of the Anjani Mashelkar Inclusive Innovation Award 2020 is GOVO Healthcare for Save Mom. Let me now read out the citation. Globally, lakhs of women die preventable deaths every year due to pregnancy-related complications. Save Mom is an IoT-based maternal healthcare solution that monitors a mother's health using smart variables that collect various physiological signals continuously. GeoVO has collaborated with government and NGOs to provide 1,000 days care to mother and the child for rupees 1,000 only, that is one rupee per day, covering 15 antenatal checkups of the mother and postnatal baby care. Save Mom is already deployed in over 100 villages in India and has benefited more than 2,000 pregnant women by conducting over 22,000 antenatal checkups. Let me now invite the founder of GeoVio and pioneer of Save Mom, Senthil Murugesan, to accept the award and tell us more about the innovation. Senthil. Thank you so much uh, for this recognition. And, uh, and I'm very honored to receive uh, such a prestigious award, uh, uh, award for this innovation. And myself, like uh, Dinesh, co-founded this company on 2016. Our objective is to provide high quality digital healthcare accessible to everyone home. Uh, this started uh, especially on five years before when my sister was pregnant. So the main challenge uh, my sister faced is she started missing those antenatal checkup. I asked her the reason why you are missing antenatal checkup, which, which is very important. She told me that um, every checkup involves a travel, five to 10 kilometer travel, and three to five hour waiting time in the hospital just to get a three minute consulting from a doctor. As an engineer, what I did is like I directly went to the doctor and asked every checkup why it takes so much time in the hospital and what you are doing there. So the doctor told she will collect all her vital information and symptoms and based on that, uh, the decision is taken and the care is given to her. So I asked the doctor, instead of my sister coming here every time, if you get all the vitals digitally, will you be able to take a decision or not? The doctor told, yes, of course, uh, if I get the data, uh, I can... Uh, give a proper consulting for her. So these are the devices available in the market. The problem is it has a display and it's showing the data to you. As a patient, you, you can't predict or interrupt those data. So as an engineer, what I did is I removed the display and all the device and quickly done a prototype where a simple application, which is given to my sister. And I told whenever you click this application through Bluetooth, it collects all your vital information and send one SMS to the doctor. In that SMS, doctor will receive her vitals and symptoms. If uh, everything is okay, the doctor press good. So I send a nice smiley to my sister saying that you are good and safe. No need to get panic. If a doctor finds some abnormality, she can press bad. I will inform her husband. And in the meantime, I will book an appointment in the hospital system to avoid waiting in the hospital. This is a small prototype I did uh, after delivering her baby. She told me that uh, she really had a very wonderful experience. Because most of them, she search internet for every symptoms. Like we search, we have a shoulder pain. The internet will throw that it can be a symptom of heart, heart attack. After seeing that search result, we might get that real uh, panic. This is what exactly happened to her. But after this innovation, my sister felt the doctor is always connected. If there is something happened bad to her, the husband also know before like he manually informed her. So that created a very positive experience uh, for her. So from there, I started deeply researching about pregnancy in India. And I found that every two minutes, a woman dies due to this pregnancy-related complication. And country like India, every day, almost 800 mother dies. 
so i i went to the village uh, in um, uti to wayanad tribal region which has a highest maternal mortality rate so i started interviewing lot of pregnant mother in the region one lady told me that the previous pregnancy the baby died inside the womb and this is her second pregnancy i quickly went to the nearest primary health care center to get her mother and child report card but the card says that the baby born successfully and it has a age of 2 now and the parents received some 10000 rupees government money there is a signature i took this report card to them but the entire family was really shocked to see that the husband told me that uh, the hospital is 20 km away from the home so i see never take her for the hospital checkup so i directly went to the district officer to know the reality is the family is correct or in a php data, phc data is correct uh he redirected me to the nearest rural hospital to collect two year baseline data when they are preparing the baseline data i observed that they are using some standard excel sheet and with the template they are filling all their vital information and uh, rec- uh, record in a very manual way and see take print out and give it to me and she told me that uh, whenever anyone from government or who come for come and ask for the report and this is the methods he has to produce the report here i understand that government has world class pregnancy scheme but the problem is there is no digital way to ensure that the mother is taking the care so people could able to fake the data and submit the fake to report to the government so here what i have done is i used the innovation which i built for my sister i used here so the thing what i implemented is a medical device kept it in the health worker bag and every month the health worker will go to their home to collect her vital information digitally here they can't enter the data manually in the application it should be collected digitally and the collected data will be sent to the doctor for further feedback and screen and second day based on the doctor's feedback the pregnant uh, the care provider will go to their home to provide nutrition and tablet and all those high risk mother will be taken to the nearest hospital for further screening the system is completely digital and transparent the district administrator know how many of them pregnant and all those high pregnancy mothers are getting follow up care or not in a digital form but after deploying this solution like two months everything's worked fine but the challenge is we started observing a data which is very weird sometimes the data are in same like uh, we are wondering how this health worker could able to manipulate the digital data so we directly went to the uh, uh, phc and we found that they are very smart they are using this medical device to their colleagues to collect every pregnant mother data in a very digitally uh, they could able to fake the data so i started interacting with the health worker and she told me that uh, it's a 10 to 15 km if i do proper uh, check up for everyone i am not get properly incentivized and this device are very bulky i could not able to carry it in a longer distance even though myself i carried along with her and i found the device are bulky so what i have done is uh, i made a this device which is exactly like your 5 inch mobile phone collects more than 10 vital information digitally by just holding the device on the pregnant mother hand and the data are collected digitally and directly sent to the doctor for the feedback second important thing is like um, uh, how you ensure that uh, this data are collected in a real time uh, basis so what we have implemented is we designed a, a wearable device which is gold color bracelet design we gave so the idea is whenever the pregnant uh, health worker goes near to the pregnant mother the wearable device will give a authentication it say this is the pregnant mother now you are in front of priya so there 15 days activity data will be collected and all the vitals will be collected together from the mobile application but uh, some of the pregnant mother we found uh, the data are very weird especially on activity data and we found that uh, we again went to their home and started interacting with them uh, so your data are very abnormal sometimes it say 100000 steps in a day and uh, we found that this lady don't have uh, the gold color uh, bracelet uh, we asked her did you lost the device or where it went and she she responded the husband took the device because he say this you are sitting in the home or you need a gold color watch give that to me so whatever data we collected is actually a husband data due to that our system could not able to identify those uh, high risk patterns so we thought of to educate the husband but there is another pregnant mother near to them she also don't have a wearable and she told me that uh, this is a very glory uh, luxury device so i felt very uncomfortable to wear outside so whenever i go outside i keep the device inside home so we found uh, the technology does not solve the problem it's more on the cultural innovation we have to do 
and all these mothers we observed that they have something like a beads in every one so i asked them do you wear this all the time and every lady told me that this is our traditional wearable like everyone uh, wears so what we have done is uh, i completely redesigned the product in a very uh, small chip which can be attachable to their uh, existing wearable and this is the form factor i would like to show the main bead is a sensor which collect her activity information and store it inside the device and it has more than 6 month battery life that means throughout the pregnancy they don't need to recharge the device and they don't need to feel they are wearing some gadget the small piece of the device they can attach with any wearable what they already wearing and that particular wearable become a smart wearable by deploying this innovation we ensure that every mother is getting this uh, data and collected data will be sent to the doctor for further feedback and uh, 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 like you no know, feedback from the doctor uh, we have deployed this for throughout like you no know, almost like 18 month in that uh, region and we want to say like um, the another big challenge is after identifying those high risk mother uh, we convince the local government to provide a very quality nutrition food but once we provided the food still their weight is continuously decrease decreasing so when i went to their home uh, to interact with them what they are doing with the nutrition food this lady whatever nutrition food we are giving she will give it to their family and their children she never consume this uh, device so here again we come up with another hack uh, we found that whenever we talking to her she felt very hungry she has a small pot of water and she continuously drinking the water so one pattern we observed she is taking a water continuously and next iteration i instructed the health worker once your checkup is done make all this nutrition in a powder form factor and put it inside the pot and add some kind of a pitta taste so that the children or husband never touches the water after doing a small changes in the pattern uh, for them they are continuously drinking a uh, uh, water but now it is highly nutritionized so after the 3 month the doctor told me that suddenly everyone weight started increasing their anemic problem is uh, going down so we ensured that the data is collected digitally and there is a proper transparent system and the nutrition also they could able to consume the nutrition based on their uh, uh, need this is a small change uh, we did and after uh, like you no know, uh, first iteration there is a new baby born in the village so they invited me i was in the village everyone the village people gathered in the region and they are holding this newborn baby from one hand to other hand uh, so i said ask this uh, lady's mother what they are doing with the newborn baby and she told me that uh, she just gave the baby to me and uh, she told me that this is a first time in their village they could able to feel the weight of the baby and the baby is smiling so no one seen a uh, smiling baby after the pregnancy so every people in the village gathered to experience that and uh, as a engineer i have developed a lot of application innovation but i never touch my output in a physical form so this is a first time i felt i could able to feel the my output in a very physical form and it's smiling in front of me the amount of satisfaction it gave me is really good so this project was deployed almost 17 tribal villages very very inaccessible region with the iot based innovation we could able to continuously monitor the mother and we ensure that they get 16 antenatal checkup throughout the pregnancy and we provide 1000 day transparent uh, uh, maternal and child care and till date we have served almost 22000 antenatal checkup uh, for this mother and this was globally recognized uh, we got uh, awards from a global firm especially like you now we are very hano hano to receive uh, this award and I, i the important thing is i have done this innovation from my home town madurai uh, it's a small town uh, tier 2 city like you no know, most of the people don't believe pe- people can innovate from this smaller town but my model is i have to do it it from my home town not in like a major city where the startup ecosystem is there so i built the entire team of girls in a local town to build this innovative product and it was recognized by a google for india conference so for the past 5 years i have built a largest women developer community in my home town using this girls we are keep on solving the local problem one part is this pregnancy but we have done so many innovation locally from madurai uh, which is useful for the community people and thank you so much for this uh, opportunity thank you santil save mom is an outstanding example of how problems have to be solved relentlessly at every step while co-creating with the users well done and very proud santil we now move on to the second category the covid category and the winner of the anjani mashelkar inclusive innovation award 
in the COVID category is dozy. Let me now read out the citation. India requires approximately 2,70,000 ICU beds, almost three times the current number, to avoid preventable COVID-19 deaths. Most ICU beds are concentrated in the private sector and are inaccessible and unaffordable for most patients. DOZI is a continuous contact-free vitals monitor with remote monitoring capabilities that converts any bed into a step-down ICU in less than two minutes. Based on ballistocardiography, DOZI has medical grade accuracy of 98.4% and costs only one-tenth of current alternatives. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, DOZI has helped thousands of patients in India by providing them with ICU beds. I now invite Mudit Dandavate, the founder of DOZI, to accept the award and tell us more about the innovation. Mudit, please. Thanks a lot uh, for this wonderful recognition. And uh, Dr. Marshaker and uh, his entire team who has worked relentlessly, Judy, who has selected us uh, out of uh, so many entries uh, that were received. And I'm really humbled to receive this award. I uh, want to really take you through uh, this entire journey of how uh, we went about creating this uh, context free vitals monitor. Here's what convinced me about the importance of having Dozy as a remote health monitoring device. We had an elderly patient living alone. Her daughter had placed Dozy under her mattress so that both she and us could monitor her vitals at the healthcare facility remotely. At this one time we got an alert indicating a decrease in her heartbeat levels from the device. When we inquired her regarding that, she just brushed it aside telling that she was just feeling a little bit tired that day and passed it off as an age related problem. So we called her in for an additional medical test and found out that she had an abnormal heart rhythm and ultimately she needed a pacemaker for that. Possibly without Dozy, it could have been fatal for her. Dozy is India's first contactless remote vitals monitor. Its thin sensor sheet, once placed under the mattress, tracks person's heartbeat, respiration, sleep, blood pressure, and even tiny heart wall movements with medical grade accuracy. Once connected, the vitals can be easily monitored on the smartphone app and on a patient monitoring system. A centralized web dashboard where hundreds of patients can be monitored at once. This is how Dozy is helping hospitals to monitor the entire ward remotely. We are able to convert our COVID wards into step down ICU within hours at a fraction of cost with Dozy. It has reduced the workload for both doctor and nurses and also exposure to the infection tremendously. This is because now we are monitoring COVID-19 patients remotely as a dosi can be combined with SpO2 sensor too. The best part is we can customize alert for each patient and take a necessary action when required. This helps a lot in improving our daily workflow. At ESIC hospital, we are able to timely shift patient to ICU based on alerts. Dozy can be used on any number of patients and with any commercially available mattresses. It requires no maintenance and it can even be integrated with the hospital's EHR systems through our APIs and SDKs. Dozy has been supported by the Government of India, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and various other organizations. With more and more consultations going online, Dozy is helping provide better healthcare outcomes to thousands of patients at home. It is also helping many leading hospitals to create step-down ICUs. Continuous non-invasive monitoring of health vitals will be an integral part of future medicine and we at Dozy are happy to provide it today. It has been proven more than 98.4% accurate compared to medical grade devices. Uh, we have four patents and more than five research papers which have been uh, uh, published. The best part about Dozy is that it very easily integrates into life of user. I think Senthil also mentioned that the best way if you want people to really adopt the solutions is to really integrate into their life really well. 
Dozy literally makes it very very easy. All that user have to do is just go and sleep. No wires, electrodes, anything needed to be attached. The data is uh, uploaded directly to the cloud and which can be accessed remotely on a remote dashboard. Requiring no maintenance, no consumables, almost twenty times cheaper than the product used in ICO. And the best part, it requires very little technical expertise. So anyone who knows how to operate a mobile phone uh, can even operate and set up uh, Dozy as well. Today, Dozy is uh, providing uh, care in more than forty institutions. Uh, more than five thousand users at home are currently using Dozy to continuously monitor their. parents uh, and also their doctors can see their data as well more than 7000 covid patients have been uh, monitored at covid care centers quarantine centers hotels turned into uh, uh, covid care centers and even step down icus where they are continuously being monitored by the nursing staff keeping them safe as well and in this entire time, uh, time the biggest satisfaction which both me and my team has is that at times it has been able to uh, tag ai driven alerts uh, which dozy lets you customize and put it to each and every patient and it has proven life saving causing early icu transfers literally touching lives which is uh, the dream of any innovator uh, covid uh, 19 uh, dozy has proven a lot of uh, uh, assistance to wards Uh, as well in tamil nadu uh, converting uh, general wards uh, and helping them with step down facilities even at home as well there have been multiple uh, stories where dozy has proven life saving by proactively and preemptively alerting people about their deteriorating health condition when i am talking about uh, step down icus and things like that these are at remotest of places uh, in places like chengalpattu medical college uh, esic hospital Bangalore, uh, in uh, in Rajasthan uh, district uh, over there as well. So all across India, we have been creating an impact. We are looking for more and more partners to create uh, this care, take it to where patients are at their home in wards as well, uh, and let's create a health revolution. Thanks a lot uh, for recognizing us with this award, and we are really looking forward to digitizing this entire. transformation of healthcare and uh, making uh, healthcare accessible by making it simpler and take it to each and every individual not just in india but everywhere as well thanks a lot yeah thank you madhit your story is very inspiring and a great example of how high technology can be applied to solve unique problems that too at ultra low cost dozy in my mind is one of the best examples of repurposing technology for covid hearty congratulations to both the winners for ending the decade of inclusive innovation with such great products i would now like to invite dr ari mashelkar to please deliver his closing remarks thank you dr mashelkar please yes uh, thank you very much uh, uh, first of all uh, uh, very very uh, warm congratulations hearty congratulations to senthil to mudit you are not only touched uh, uh, people's lives but also touched our hearts today everyone who is uh, watching uh like you said at the end the emerging digital india will have to go for digital health agenda and these innovations are a perfect fit indeed i would say exemplars you know recently i had the privilege of looking at a fascinating book that ganesh and uma natarajan are writing and this is about digital reengineering for business transformation i would say that what senthil and mudit have done is digital reengineering for social transformation uh, our award is uh, very special i want to remind you because we just don't recognize like we did today hand over a cash prize which is a very small amount of 1 lakh give a trophy these are all symbols we applaud like uh, uh, we did today click photos like we are doing and stop no that is where we actually begin we go above and beyond by opening the doors of opportunity for the awardees as you would see over the last 10 years for funding for mentorship for partnerships etc we all have to support inclusive innovators not just uh, with uh, venture funds but also adventure funds with soft funds 
And it's not just the private sector that has a role to play here. In fact, the government can become the largest customer for inclusive innovations via progressive and promotional public procurement policies, uh, five Ps, if you like, that will ultimately result in the welfare of the masses. You can just see these two technologies, what difference it can make uh, uh, to India. Uh, for real inclusive growth, we all need to be partners in this. I would say, I used to say, I in India must stand for innovation. I would say, I must, in India must stand for inclusive innovation for attaining uh, the inclusive uh, growth. Uh, I want to thank you all for joining us in this journey, in this very, very humble uh, contribution that we are trying to make in launching uh, and taking forward this inclusive innovation uh, movement for India. Thank you very much.